Slap it in peace. Y E T.
What is up, chat? How y'all doing? It is Tuesday, March 30th. Last couple God. days of the month, man. It's flying by. Dude, it's it's April in two days. Dude, remember March of last year and how March was like the longest month ever? Ever that existed on the planet. And then April was just as long. Dude, yes. Yeah, that was that was a time ago. <sighs> man, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. It's been uh, it's been busy uh, for me work wise uh, works. Work's been crazy, but good, crazy, good, good, busy. Um, but. Uh, no, other than that, built a matrix, which actually actually sounded really freaking good on uh, Saturday. Which if you didn't check that out, the VOD was uploaded to our YouTube channel uh, earlier today. And. Uh, yeah, I was I was really happy with how it came out, uh, but and dude, still cannot get over the X H T. Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah, B D Z, dude! I it's need to solid. check it out. That was uh, I was out like during the stream because I was just out of it that day from post vaccine. Um, dude, you're so, vaccinated. Uh, How's the five G treating you? Uh, you know, the alligator scales are manageable. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> so any, uh, uh, any sales of, uh, Microsoft products yet? Not yet. I'm trying, man. I'm Damn. trying. Um, uh, but no, it's, it's been, been trucking along. I had a funny, funny moment for those who, for those who have kids or those who teach you, you get this, especially if you have two kids. So quick story today, one of my kids comes in, he's like, Oh my, I'm like, Hey, where's your, where's your mask? And he's like, Oh, sorry. I, I think I left it in the restroom. Get it from the restroom. So he goes and he comes back in. He's freaking out. He's like, I, my, my mask is soaking wet. And I was like, it's cause I think he takes it off and you know, they have those big sinks that's like massive. So that kids, you know, because they like, they can't control themselves washing their hands. So they're massive. And I'm pretty sure he just like, dropped it in there or like left it there because you have to take your mask. It's like whenever he's like, Oh, I took my mask off to wash my hands. It's like, reminds me of Kevin from the office. He's like, I don't know if I have time to pee. He's like, what do you mean? He's like, I just don't know if I have enough time to put my tie back on. <laughs> <laughs> and so he comes in he's like, it's I'm like here. I've got, you know, a bunch of extra masks. And, and uh, for, for those who don't know, I work with special needs kids. So masks can be tricky. Um, and so this other kid, he raises his hand. He's like, can I, like, I need to go to the bathroom. I was like, all right. So he goes and he comes back and he sits down. He raises his hand. He's like, my mask is wet. God. <laughs> and I, I'm like, come here, come here. And he comes and I'm like, closer. And I like stick my hand out on his mask, like right here. And it is dripping wet. <laughs> and I'm like, did you rinse your mask? No. It's like, are you sure? Yeah. Why did you do that? I don't know. Go sit down. <laughs> and he's like, but I, I'm like, no, you don't get a new mask. <laughs> like, it's like the last 20 minutes of the day. I'm like, nope, sorry. You have, this is what's called consequences to your own actions. <laughs> I'm just like, <sighs> this is the world right. of being a teacher in 2021. <laughs> 2021 just, like, yep. Um, so, but yeah, it's, it's been, a, it's been a fun day. Shout out to the homies. Uh, could not have done it. Next on deck guys. Thank you. Squid 60. Um, I'm very happy that the squid 60 took down the Tengu onto the Zenith. If we can take down the Zenith, I mean, all roads lead to seven V. So, um, you know, it, it will be a fun ride, right? We can, if we can, if we can mess up the Zeniths, route to the seven V then I'll, I'll be, I'll be happy. Right. It's like, it's like you want to, you want to be that like sixth seed team where it's like, Oh, well those are the two best teams they're going to meet. And then the, you know, in the semifinals, like that's a guarantee. And you're like, no. then the New York giants are like, no, dude, we're going to fuck shit up and ruin Tom Brady's life. <laughs> dude. What was it? The, there was a team that was like making a run through the tournament. The Loyola was, was it Loyola? Uh, no, it was a different one. Uh, well, Loyola was, but they got beat by a 12 seed. So they got beat by Oregon State. 
who then lost. But then no, there was a 15 seed that was that was getting pretty far. Was it Oregon State? That's Oral was. no Oral Roberts. Oral that, Roberts, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> Oral <laughs> Roberts, go. dude. That's it's that's the team. squid right now. Let's go. Like I, you know, it would take a miracle from another miracle from another miracle to go much further than the seven B. But Zenith's it's a possibility, right? I mean, everything's a possibility at this point. Um, so the Tengu t- picture was taken by me. I didn't even know they were going to use it. But hey, grats. It was a good. I mean, they're both great boards. I've I've used both. Um, they're they're both solid boards kind of it surprised me honestly because i was expecting it to get stomped um but people rallied um i for those wondering i followed all guidelines i told people to vote but i did not specifically use any mexon deck influence me personally i can't say the same for some of our friends and mods (laughs) but i personally and the instagram account for mexon deck the and even my chewy mod account on instagram did not use any like go vote for my board i just told people go vote it's true this is true so which i don't think you even said anything today no i mean i, I at least on the instagram account or no i was i, didn't I, see I tried to be i'm like let's i don't want to piss anybody off i don't want anyone to think that i may have skewed the vote or got a bunch of people to rally so but scott water came in with 500 clutch votes so <laughs> it would have been pretty funny if like if like out of nowhere just that one voting uh that one matchup had like 2000 extra votes <laughs> just like out of fucking like what the fuck so it's like every, uh, there's a few averaging... there's a few on there though that i'm like dude where the f- did all these votes come like yeah we're right averaging like 1200 and this guy's got 1200 by himself dude. but yeah squid's so, got potential wow. are you gonna be let's see are you gonna be the what was the team that we said uh oral roberts oral roberts or are you gonna be ucla who's fighting tonight to get to the final four are you gonna be ucla i mean who... i'm i'm honored to be a part of the top 32 right Ayo. Like and I and now I've made it twice as far as the last champion because down goes satisfaction. True. So if you haven't seen, I hope you guys didn't listen to me too much on the bracket <laughs> on bracketology. <laughs> I made some rough decisions. Um, but we will get into that first off. I'll go first because I don't have any keyboard related. I do have some cool. I have some cool mail. And some of the mail I can't talk about, which sucks. That's the only, it's, it's like, oh, woe is me. I get things sent to try, but then I can't talk about them. So, but anyway, what's on my, I got a tripod and I got a pair of Yeezys today. First pair of Yeezys. That's fun. Are you They're wearing them right the now? Closet. No, I don't, I don't wear shoes. You know, we talked about this this morning about, you know, the foam runners and like house shoes. Like I don't wear it. Like, like Lang has Gucci slides that he wears around the house, but he also lives up north like yeah it's i get it so um key colt though i feel like i should be (laughs) using the squid for today's victory but this is what i've been using since uh i think friday night come on or it was right after friday night there we go ursa by nathan alpha man key colt by key colt wilba pcb i'm just just telling people like what who designed these things that'll come up later <laughs> so true uh but yeah i mean it's it's got zykos in it i absolutely love this board um and touched up touched up with that that dbz lube man made the space but dude th- th- i did i i lubed heavily these these stabs but i hit them again Ooh, it's like a new damn board dude it's nuts it is it's good crazy but yeah, if that's it for you, and move move right on over to me. Move on. You um, you got the cool mail. Yeah, I've got I've got some mail. But first up, what's on my desk? Uh, it has not left my desk since I rebuilt it, and that is my Iron One Sixty Five <laughs> with we Psychos. Psych Bros. <laughs> We're Psych Bros right now, dude. Uh, GMK Nines on there with a Lividity Observer, which I have another Lividity Observer that should be coming in the mail soon, which I'm excited Hell for. Yeah. Um, Which one did you, did you win one? Yeah, sorry, I didn't even tell you. 
I'm sorry. Uh, it's uh, like a black and gold one. I can't remember what the name of of it was. Um, let me find it. I'll find it. Um, but. But yeah, I love the board now. It like I loved it before. It like is an entirely new board board now. So um yeah, the Gleef, that's the one. The Gleef Observer that he did a couple about a week a little over a week ago. I won that one. So I'm excited to get that in. Um But then as far as mail, got some really cool mail that I'm excited about. Been hearing a lot about these over the last couple of weeks. The the long boys, the the symmetric springs from kinetic. <clears throat> I can't talk kinetic labs. So sent them over in all of the weights. So I got 53, 58, which those two might not get used except for maybe in like a switch to try them. Uh, then I'm really excited for these 63 and a half and the 69 gram springs both of these are pretty freaking cool they're super long um yeah i've uh i know people are pretty big fans of the uh nice the, the long boy springs um <laughs> the long yeah. 69 spring ayo i'm just i'm just describing one these i will say because of how long they are these are going to be f- Definitely a lot of fun to pick apart once I once I lube them. Um, what's the benefit of long springs? I think it's like it's more even. There we go. Look at that. Look at how big that that sixty nine is. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> these uh, it, it's a like a snappier return. Um, so they uh. It is it is more more even throughout the the entire press um, is a big thing about these slow springs or long springs. So I'm excited for these. Ooh, Static Age, the people's champion, gifting a sub. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try those too. I mean, they're not um, they're not like the weight that I would love, but I'm also curious like because they are snappier. The big reason I like heavier springs is because I like snappy, right? And yes, they're not 90 grams. So uh, it was kind of funny when we were talking and he was like, hey, like I want, to, I want you to try these springs. Oh, so I was like, just send them to me. <laughs> it's like, don't, it's like, we'll get one, but Chewie probably won't like it. It's again, it's not like they'll be bad. Right. It's not like that. I mean, they could be. Who knows? So like, I mean, you know, we'll give the honest opinion. But if they're if they're good, they might just be good for people who like springs are and 69 grams is on the on the i hate saying this the higher end <laughs> of weight. it is it is a little bit crazy to me how that like excuse me that is considered heavy yeah like 72 is like the max that a lot of people do which i feel like for a time was fairly normal but I also that was when the community was more in the tactile realm, like 72, 70, like 67 to 75 was like really normal for a lot of switches. And then people started going on linears and they got lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. I don't know if these are 60, 90, but G2 pins, baby. Or was this? Yeah, G2. Come on, man. I think he's saying buy like 60 to 90 of those and take the springs yeah. out and put them in. Hell yeah, dude. Let's fucking go. I don't, would that even be? It Let's, sounds like he's speaking from experience. So I guess it might be the right spring size. It might. Let's 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 do some. I, I can't even get the spring out and I guess I'd have to fish it out. It doesn't look like it would be the the right size. Evening but Seether or Sether science no these springs are not coming out of this pen probably because you know they're like up 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 there you go okay. um are we doing this right now are you trying to figure out what it's like I, it's not i don't think it's gonna fit physically um but let's try it out g2, g2 zyko 
I like it. I like it. Uh, not with that attitude. I mean, you're not wrong with with. All right, so let's do a quick uh, side by side of just the overall size of a. Oh, I just, I just, I just dropped the damn spring. Of course, it's hey, me. Um, I'm dealing with stuff. I drop shit all the fuck time. Uh, to answer your question, Dibble Day. Uh, neither of us have tried the seal switches quite yet. Dude, Keeb Noob, thank you for the one year. Man. One year! There it is. Shout All out right. to Keeb Noob. Also, check her out. Twitch.tv slash Keeb Noob. Great streams. He's a, he's a pro streamer. All right, here we go. Let me get these in my hands accordingly. So, come on. That's the size of a G2 pin. <laughs> Spring versus that. Let's see if it fits. I would be, right. yeah, I'd be more worried about it going in the stem. I don't know if it's going to be. All right, let's focus. Is it working? I mean, it physically fits. Come on. Stem's not, maybe don't hold it. For science, guys. Let's make you For big science. real quick. See, I'm interested now. We're in it. If I can get this damn thing, I, I dropped the top. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and now it's stuck in my hair. Ah! So, I would like to give a quick shout out to our awesome sponsors. <laughs> Omnitype. Project keyboards and cannon keys, as well as Zap cables, Smith and Rune, and Type Beast. Oh my God, it fit! No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's too. Now, mind you, it fits in there, but the spring is too big for it to even compress down. Like it can't go down. Damn, son. Um. Unlucky. Unlucky. So. Uh, and then Type Beast, who's running Mech Madness. Make sure you guys are going and voting. Um, yeah, dude. Go vote. So, <clears throat> go vote. It's important. It's important for research. Um, and hopefully we can get back to those numbers from last year. Because let's, let's dive into it a little bit. Mech Madness. Uh, first things first. Unfortunately, there's just... I mean, because it's not through Omnitype, um, it's just starting a new Instagram from the ground up. It's hard, right? You're yeah. not going to get a big um of a turnout especially the first year so it, it's growing and that's what it's great to see and hopefully by next year we'll get back to where we were last year um but all i can say is vote share with your friends um that it exists and talk about it on discords go vote um they probably won't be flooding your feeds between the end of april and the start of december so squid one G's not even close. It was, it was a little close. It was very close, <laughs> which I guess we can get into it. Now we can go through, we can get a little update on the bracket that we made together on stream <clears throat> and see kind of how we're doing. We're absolutely. Well, I think we, we're, we've got potential. We've got potential to do, to do well. Um, looking at it here at our bracket. Let me, uh, let me do this for you. Mr. Chewy. There you go. Now you can see what you can pick up what I'm putting down there. Hell yeah, brother. All right. What's I just full screened it and now it like freaked out my <laughs> sorry about that. Um there, that's what I want. So let's we're see. we're in the top one hundred. We're hey. ranked ninety six right now. Hell yeah, man. Score potential for score potential is the important one here. Yeah. Um, because it doesn't matter if you're in first place, if your score potential is maxed out, you're done. Yeah, so. there's there's someone that's like three with a, a score potential of like 290. I'm like, oh, that sucks, man. I think they had satisfaction 75 winning the bracket. So the fact that we have all of our all of our top four are in the finals. Or that are our top four that are still there. They, they, they can they can still take us to the finals, take us to the top five. 
Absolutely. So let's go through round one. Um, <clears throat> so round one, we saw uh, your boy messed up. I thought, no, I legitimately thought uh, the one, the, the first couple things that surprised me is the obliterated got obliterated. Now, the, that's not to say the Polycarp Rukia is a bad board, but 444 to 170, that's, that's a... Yeah, well, we that's, got that that's, one right. That's a, yeah, no, we got that right. I'm just surprised it won by that much. I thought the obliterated mm -hmm. would have a bit of a, sh a bit more of a showing. Um... But we got a lot of I mean, we got a lot of these right off the bat. Sunsetter, you know, I think we talked about, um, you know, little design, 65%. They're so hot right now. So hot. Uh, so hot. Uh, bit of a close matchup. I mean, within 100 votes. So, uh, or just, I guess, 101 votes. Uh, but Sunsetter is a solid board. Yeah, absolutely. And then the Lattice or Latisse. I don't still don't know how to say that one. Uh, won it out over the the CRBN Featherlight, which we also got. We did we did really solid first round, especially on these first this first little clump. Um, mm -hmm. the Tingu won pretty handedly over the Portico, and then and then what what is that? In, Ooh, like, so that's a Squid Sixty. Like and and we predict I predicted that I I legitimately didn't think the Rylu had a chance. Oh yeah. I think shot. with a, no, I didn't even know that the Rylu Hello M0110 existed until I saw it. <laughs> and then on top of that, I do have some recency bias with uh, Squid 60 has a little bit of recency bias. So happy to handedly win there. So thank you guys. Yeah. The next one uh, with the Icky 68 versus the Zenith. Icky 68 showed up. Hey. Didn't didn't get destroyed. Little recency but, bias in the fact that it like just ran or like yeah. just finished running. Um, so but yeah, and then the Alex 40, which we also got, came in hot, took out the slice yeah. and slice RGB. I think that, was, that was the that's the split ortho, I think. Absolutely. I don't remember a lot of these boards. <laughs> yeah, Kara came in, knew that was gonna happen. Uh, one that I think we thought would win was the, you know, the Weaven ended up getting kind of destroyed, over doubled its the votes of the Weaven. Um, I thought that a board that had a round three and the Weaven has kind of like been fairly popular in the community would would do better, but the Gemini came in and and took it out. Cyberboard still coming in hot, doing well. We'll see how it fares against Chewy's correct pick, which I thought that it could have gone the other way, but very, very close vote, less than 70 votes between the milkshake edition and the Olivia edition in K65s. People like Olivia. They do. They do. People like, you know, there's that shirt. For, if you, any of you guys are Rooster Teeth fans, they used to make that shirt. People like grapes. Then the, Olivia needs to make a shirt that just says people like Olivia. <laughs> uh, and next up, decent 65 versus the can 60 65s just going to win. Uh, and one of the biggest slaughters. <laughs> Sorry, switch code to it. Uh, the Bauer 2 coming in with 1,100 votes to 258. Uh, that obviously no surprise, but it's fun to see just such a, a obliteration. It's, it's always nice. It's always kind of fun to see just the absolute one sidedness of some votes. And speaking of one sidedness, the next up as well, the K versus the KY01. We did see that going. Um, we did, did get that one. And it's at 75. People aren't about win. it. People aren't about it. This was the fear. This was the fear even of Upas. We had him on the stream the week that we did this, uh, the week before Mech Madness started, and uh, he's a little worried about if it could uh, make another run. Obviously, it is not. It got taken out by one of the best boards in the tournament as well. So in the Iron 180, uh, just taking it out. And yep. uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens from there with those two. We had the battle of the macro pads between the paw and the type nine 
the paw came out on top, which we got right. Then another one that Chewie had that we had going <laughs> a little bit further. I got shit talk from this immediately. <laughs> the ID87 versus the canoe. I remember very specifically being like, we're really going to vote for a board that's like an in stock, like not like it is a custom, but like, you know, it's a different level. And you know what? I'll give it to you, Chewie. You got screwed on the picture. The picture was awful. Oh, my gosh. It was like an iPhone 4 of an unbuilt board. I think it would have been closer if it had like a nice picture. And a lot of these, honestly, and we'll get when we get to the second round of the we've only gotten a, you know, a handful of boards in the second round. But there was a second round that I think the picture cost them. I think the picture cost them of the their entire round two matchup. Yeah. So uh next up another one we got wrong, Sagittarius versus the Sukiyomi. Uh Sagittarius, solid board. Solid yeah. board. Um people like that kind of split uh split look. KBD sixty seven uh cleaning up. That was we we knew that. We expected that to happen. Um the number one rev rev two beating the Ori handedly. Um uh, and then this one, this one was the one that that kind of surprised me that it it won so well. The jewels versus the Jo two, which was hilarious, not hilarious, but funny because at the beginning of the day, when I first looked at it, jewels was winning for quite some time, and then it was like all the EU people were like, <laughs> they woke up, <laughs> we got to take care of our boy Jay, you know, um, not to say that Zambuman is not also eu uh but the top they, clock uh, fans woke up top clock fans came out to play and got the jo2 i will take the l there i thought that the jewels would do better and would possibly win i mean 65 versus 60 we're not going to see too many victories of a 60 taking down a 65 that's just not going to happen yeah absolutely uh, so congrats congrats to the jo2 Next up, we chose the Aurora Input Series 65 versus the Dalco 959 Mini. Um, I honestly, nope. I, sorry, C- Aurora, the yeah. CU80. CU80 was a uh, kind of an in stocky type board. Uh, the Karina versus Dalco 65. I think the Karina was a pre built, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. The Dalco's sick, though. Yeah, the Dalco's um, pretty sick. Also, Average Baby Tater asks Can I ask your opinion on Franken Switch? I'm going to be making sure. Go ahead, put it in chat. And uh, we will t- talk about it. Uh, and then arguably the most one-sided that we've seen so far, the Vega versus the Avia. I think I said that right. Avia. Um, Avia. Yeah. 948 to 89 votes. Less than 100 votes. Um, so, yeah. Vega one just of the, destroyed. One of the- one of the worst turnouts, not the worst, the Q80, which is, again, kind of a, a box board that's to be expected. Um, and if you can, something's, something's happening <laughs> in less than 100. Also, pictures obviously take a huge role. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And then the Ogre versus the Starfighter Ogre coming out on top. Got that one right. The EU isolation taken down. The Keychron K3, surprisingly fairly close. Um, Alpine 65 cleaning up against the fat boy. And then we had the Mark 65 again, the 65 boards just dominating, taking over the hyper seven R three. Um, and then one that I'm kind of somewhat surprised was as dominant as it was the EO 87 over the stripe 60. People like people like rainbows. True. People like rainbows. Uh, next up, Infinitum cleaning up. I think that board's going to go far. I think that board just uh, it's it's in a like this is nothing against the Infinitum. It's in a weak side of the bracket. Yeah, it's in a weak side of a bracket, which is why I think it goes really far here. Um, but no surprise there. The Lyra beat the Moon um, pretty handedly. I want to say the Moon was is one of those much smaller board. Forties don't is to quote DD Decline. Uh, 40s does not turn up. <laughs> they do not turn up. Uh, next up, Moon Tower. That was a, a clean victory. They got um, the butt pick in there, and I'm excited. Got, and they did. Yeah, that honestly, that picture changes a lot. 
dude, the booties, the booties. And then, then one that we talked about that I think we, you were, you were arguing could go the other, other way. Uh, maybe TGRs played out the, the J one rev one versus the type machina TGR Jane version 1.5. That's a lot of words. Uh, pretty close, pretty close between those two. It was close. Expected. Those are both great boards. Um, I think I don't remember the picture for the jail one, um, but I think it size, I think. uh, And then Jane, I mean, TGR has that name recognition. People know TGR. Uh, The jail one boards are fucking amazing boards. I've built a pain in the ass to build. (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> I'll say this to Jay's face because I did. <laughs> I was like, "This is gonna be a pain in the ass, pain in the ass to build." But the J boards, they sound great, they feel great. Um, but yeah, I mean, well done. The J O two made it. I'm glad that one of his boards uh, squeaked. He had to go up. He had two tough fights. Yeah, two <laughs> tough matchups in the first round. Also, Baby Tater. It's hard to have an opinion about the switch when you don't have like a a stem plan. Um. So, I mean, yeah, could be cool. Sound sounds like it'll be a solid one. Yeah. Absolutely. Um plus squids at squid because some squid switches in a squid. I got you. Um what's up next? Next up the Baby V versus the S58. We got very wrong. Uh <laughs> we picked the Baby V. I'm not going to lie, don't really know what either of those are anymore. Um I imagine that that was a snap decision between us of which one to pick and we chose poorly. And then the Adelaide or yeah, we'll go with that beat out the hatchet. And then the diamond 65% beat the candy bar premium round two. Why on earth did we think of voting against a 65 in a tournament? I don't know, man. I, it's, I, I thought TKC would be, uh, would be, turning up but tk i was wrong i was very wrong about tkc but you know what we did all right for a little bit after this uh the time 80 handedly destroying the trivium uh profit beating the prime elise which stinks because like it the prime elise got stomped prime elise is a solid board there's absolutely nothing wrong but the profit also relatively came out relatively recently uh constellation beating the hot take um I think some of these are like, you know, the smaller, I can't remember what the, the hot take was, but I want to say it wasn't anything super duper special. Uh, heavy metal keyboards coming out. I went against, uh, which I believe the Epo maker is a, a box brand board. Um, and it was, you know, if you're going to go <laughs> box brand boards did not do well. <laughs> no, they did not. They did worse than macro pens. <laughs> Yeah, and then we had the the Disapad versus the Fuck Riri eighty two, uh, which the Fuck Riri wins out there. The rain drops sixty percent versus the Elongate, which we got right. The Elongate, we're f- on fire, That's six in a row. Then we top it off the Jaguar TKL winning fairly handedly against the Oxalis eighty LE. And then the 10 beating up on the classy TKL to make a perfect eight in a row for us. Next up even more. Ooh, we got nine. Space 65 R2 coming in hot against the, the Godspeed 75 aboard that at one point Chewie was very stoked for. Still coming. Then what did we one do day. next, Chewie? One what, what happened? We, we, we made, a, made a mistake. You know... Steve Nash once said, you can be the best free throw player in the world and you'll still shoot like 88%. And that's coming from one of the best free throw shooters in the world. Yeah. So um, the Andromeda beat the Bella. Um, 75% I've, maybe are we past 75%? Have we, have we moved on? Have, have maybe, people maybe that, that's stopped? people are looking at 75s and they're like, so 2020. Yeah, dude. But yeah, 65s apparently just are forever good. Yeah, it's like, well, I want a 60%, but I need my arrow keys. Um, so uh, coming through, TKL's coming in hot, Andromeda, Mode 80, and the U80 all coming in just cleaning up uh, with, I mean, most of these by almost 500 or more. The Hex.6C beat the Neo Palette G67. I couldn't tell you what either of those are. I'm sorry. I 
128 boards is a lot of boards to remember. <laughs> this is a lot of boards to remember, but one that is fairly memorable that did have a big win is the 60% chew. People loving that Pikachu. They love that that Pikachu tail, and it looks good, but it's going up against a board that took down a chonker of a board in the Saturn 60, and that's the Fjell R5. Um, we, have, we have big plans for the Fjell to come up and beat up on our uh, electric brethren in the 60% chew for the next round, so we'll see what, what happens there. Plume 65 taking it over the Nebula, and then the Monarch 65 taking down the Split or split, uh, the split, split. These are things. These are, these aren't real words. So we can go there. And then, hey, Chewy, Heidi Bow coming in hot no again, making up for it, hitting you there with a win over the thirty, the thirty three, thirty percent, and then the slip line coming in over the Monster Gear Alu uh, Alu XO V. Uh, the box board, right? I think. Yep. With a name like that, it has to be. Honestly, should have done better. Yeah. Probably. Maybe the pictures. I can't remember. You know, again, these are a lot of pictures. And when you're voting, you're kind of quickly voting. Um, I don't, you don't have a whole lot of time. And then you don't want to like awkwardly and not vote. The next one up, we, we missed. And this was a close one. 50 votes. 50 votes exactly. Uh, the Maha beat the M60 Lunar Edition. I, but the M60 Lunar Edition picture wasn't great. It was artistic, but it didn't show off much. No. That's when I remember. And where the, the Vulcan Maha was more of a top-down, uh, which I appreciated the top-down view. So, um, But yeah, I mean, again, that's to me, that's one where it's like pictures, pictures are a lot. Yeah, absolutely. And then the D65 came out over the KZ75. The E7 V2, which we have making it through this I will say you talked about being a some somewhat subpar section of the bracket. This is also kind of a somewhat subpar section of the bracket. E seven V two stomping whatever the type out the the typu 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 the typu. We'll get a little French there. Uh, pizza taking out the the f sixty. F. Marco TKL coming in hot and then. By far and away, the biggest surprise to me, Vertigo taking over and destroying, well, not destroying, but beating the 100 KD8X. Was, uh, 150, close to 150 votes, yeah. 149, if my math is correct. Something, I don't know, who, who knows math. Yeah, that one surprised me. That one definitely took me by surprise. I thought the KBD8X, you know, they did have a group by relatively recently. It's a solid TKL. I, it is an older board, though. I mean, that... That group I ran, the, that that group I started in April of 2019. Um, so it's an older board, but sad to see. <clears throat> um, and then round two, we'll just go through it. We only had uh, a handful of boards. We definitely did not do as well in the round twos. Uh, but the 7V, um, as I have nicknamed Thanos in this tournament, has come through um, and... Taken out the Polycarb Rukia. Rukia, for a while there, it was it was holding its own. Yeah, it was. It it was much closer than I thought for a lot of long time, but then the seven V stands came out to play and they took it down. Mm -hmm. Um Sunsetter coming in hot over the lattice or Latisse. Well, however you say that again, don't know. But we picked that one and then we were wrong. And then we went on a string of being wrong. How dare we guess, second guess, our Lord and Savior, <laughs> Squid, and take the Tingu over Squid? How dare we? You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm honest, I'm very happy, of course. Like, I sat around and I was like, man, because it... It bounced. It was all over the place. Um, <laughs> exactly. Pick the opposite of me specifically, um, unless it's like a no brainer. But I'm, you know, I, I'm it was I, I was not one I was expecting to win. And I'm I'm very happy and very fortunate. A lot of people, um, I mean, got a lot of votes, so 1200, which is, you know, it, it, it 
six hundred and uh, six hundred and twenty nine people voted for so thank you to those 629 people um it was cool it's cool to take that to it was cool to beat a board that the tengu is a very popular board and it was cool it wasn't you know I, whenever i won the against the rylu it was like okay cool like this was expected God. yeah but yeah this was I, I wasn't expecting to lose but uh yeah with the with the tengu i think you know pictures help i thought the I, I I specifically chose uh, for those who don't know follow Ninja Pirate. I did not take that picture. Ninja Pirate took that picture, so thank you, Ninja Pirate. Um, that's not to say that the other picture was bad or anything like that, uh, but it was also kind of cool because it was like as yeah, cafe versus cafe. Like I don't, you know, you, you can't go. We saw this last year where if the board had Olivia on it, those boards started outperforming because it had Olivia on it. Yeah. So it was kind of, I was like, yeah, it's, it's kind of a level playing field. I'm, I was, I was happy. And, you know, we got the, we got the, <clears throat> the Zenith, which is what we will talk about here. Got the Zenith next week. So, um, this one kind of hurt mainly because I think the Alex 40 picture while cool did not show off just how cool that picture that board is dude alex 40 has one of the coolest if not the coolest finishes in this entire tournament and i was hoping that that would carry it over the zenith which is a great board and does look very cool but the zenith got the zenith just goomba stomped the alex 40 and is on its way to meet the squid 60 in round three. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. See what happens. If, if, if this is where I, my, my trip ends, that's I'm fine. I am totally fine. I am happy. Um, and shout outs to Taru Sen, who actually called this. He called this very early. He's like, I think the squid 60 will be, I don't, he's like, I don't think it'll get past the Zenith or the seven V, but he's like, I think it'll get past the Tinku. Shout out to you, bud. Not you're not only a good friend, but like he was like, no, I <laughs> like he was confident in it. So thank you, um, thank you for everyone. But yeah, the the, it, the Alex Forty is just such a cool. It was like the picture was like the board was flat. Yeah, you couldn't really see. You couldn't see. You could like if you looked for it, you could. But snap, you know, you're talking about three seconds. You got to capture and captivate in three seconds. That's something I think the Moon Tower is going to get pushed along because people are going to see that go oh damn that's cool boom that big old booty big old booty uh speaking of big old booty kara does not have a big old booty but it does round out the matchups that we know so far and it took down the gemini uh which is looks weird here because it says the weaving but that's because we got it wrong but the kara we did get right so overall we are doing pretty well uh in keyboards we're 96 so we could still get up there we have high score potential 423 is the max that we can score and you look at the predictions like i said there's someone here look at this person this person who's pepe lol doesn't have a username don't know who it is pepe lol score potential 291 so you, so you look at us, we've got the same, we've got higher score potential than the person who's ranked five right now. Yeah. Score so. potential is the, the one that matters. So, but let's, let's go to key sets. We'll go through these a little bit quicker. Cause a lot, I feel like key sets, a lot of these are a little, like they're a lot more like kind of straightforward. Um, with apologies to SA. <laughs> Dude. SA does not show up well in tournaments. Um, so we'll kind of we'll kind of rattle these off uh, just a little bit faster because uh, we do have a couple things to get to. So first and foremost, uh, in a loading. Well, sorry. loading, come on. Okay, all right. Hey, chat. Thanks for the Twitch Prime there. See there is it Sether or Seether? Is it Seth Er Ero? Is it Sethero? How do you or say that? Seth is it set hero? You know what? 
we're gonna go back to this one. Oh, uh, there of we course go. Okay. All right, we'll do this. We'll look at our bracket later. Name is All right. Fine. So uh MT3, white on black versus 3270. White on black's always gonna win. Yep. Uh Roge, I'll go through these next like eight real quick. Roge pick, picking up Amalfi. That's Amalfi. I do really like Amalfi. Uh Perestroka easily taken out ghost. SA Godspeed, GMK Godspeed, man, 479 to 147. God, that was Get unfortunate. Get <laughs> Red Samurai beating out Strawberry Lemon. If only uh, Red, you know, Strawberry Lemon came out the way it was supposed to. Pre press beating Tian Win. Uh, cool Kids gonna ma- beating SA Oblivion round two. Uh, it is SA, but still, Oblivion's a very liked set. And then GMK Honor beating out Mecha 01 to round out that section of the bracket. Yeah, next up we had Cat Blanks getting almost no votes versus Monokai Material. Uh, Sumi coming in hot again, demolishing Specimen, like absolutely crushing it. Um, MDA Vision getting a fat 95 votes against the 751 from Muted Retro. GMK Dark taking a close one against Classic Retro Cyrillic. Shoko second style taking down Cat Atlantis, and then of course Cat Explosion taking the hard L from GMK Hennessy. Yep. Next up, GMK Copper coming to eleven hundred and sixty-two votes. Well done, GMK Copper. I think that's a sleeper set. Uh, is going up against SA though. Cat Lucky Jade versus SA Jade Eye. This is a great matchup because they're very very similar, and it's getting very very close. Six hundred eighty-two to six hundred and twenty-seven. Uh, So not a huge differential there. GMK Honey coming in hot against Team Liquid. We knew that wasn't going anywhere for Team Liquid. Uh, MDA Ember Dawn versus MDA Plastic. People don't like the hype. GMK Burgundy. This was one that, while, yes, we knew EPB do Kuroshiro round two was a great set. Um, It's a solid set. It's it's cool to see EPBD take down GMK. It's cool yeah. to see EPB an EPBT set take down GMK and, and a round three GMK set. So very cool. GMK pink on Navy taking out beta. Uh, not really a shocker there. GMK Yuru beating out the Infinity Dark Cyrillic by a handful. So well done on those. Yeah. GMK Kaiju taking the L, I think fairly surprisingly to me, to Aurora Polaris. Uh, and then Laser beating out Frost Witch in the battle of lighter versus darker purple and then boneyard beating up on kai kai was a very limited set so i'm not surprised there nord demolishing the set that never ended in gmk yugo that thing just keeps running unlike a yugo and then cannon caps zero beating up on cam wraith um yeah and then cam little pilot taking out sa semiconductor and then last but not least, a surprising one for me. I didn't realize the Rudy hype. Where did this come from? Uh, we talked about it. Some people, Rudy was not a, like, when you look at the timing of when it ran, right? Rudy ran at the end of 2019 into the first couple days of 2020. It, it barely made it. It sold like 350 <laughs> base kits. And it destroyed DCS Sleeper, which is like basically muted. People like Rudy. People really like it's do a people clean like set. Rudy Colors or do people out. like the words, the letters G M K. I mean, I think it's a little, it's a little calm, a little calm. Rudy is a clean set because it's a safe set. Like let's yeah, true. You know, beat around. No, it, it's, it's not the classic, uh, black or charcoal with accent color, but it does have dark, dark mods white alphas accent color so great essay sunday morning taking out gmk hero by a mere like 60 votes that was cool to see essay coming out hot uh gmk hero as as omnitype has said green sets don't do well that same thing can be said about gmk bushido beating out finicky grain sorry sorry uh lang gmk mudbeam beating out nuclear data again this is just green 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 loss 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 um but so green comes in hot <laughs> the next round gmk ursa versus infinity masubi but again gmk cat arctic beating out cat lich not really a huge surprise there gmk space cadet beating lux uh cool to see those are two like great sets uh by two 
very seasoned designers, uh, relatively close space cadet taking it. And then the battle of the Mizus, it looks like cat wins against SA because it doesn't matter what SA is going against. SA doesn't do well. Dude, SA loses. And then the suited assassin, the Baba Yaga himself. The Baba Yaga. Took down the drifter of fucking Cat. Pencil. Um, oh, fucking GMK pencil. Redline. Ooh, Talisman Solutions. Thank you for the 1,111 1, bits. Thanks, man. GMK Redline winning over Cat Refined. SA Skyrider, once again, SA set. Losing to a GMK set in Red Devils. And then GMK Amethyst winning over 808 Boom. Lang taking another L there. Uh, Deku. A, a, a pick one of our picks to, to go far taking down carbon round three and then one of chewy's favorite sets from last year gmk sloth getting slaughtered by taro an unfun an unfortunate first round uh True. matchup got infinity comfy versus hammerworks crp infinity comfy taking the uh, taking the victory there. Finer Things versus Pride. Looks like people only like one color versus multiple colors in their set. Uh, Jim K. Fuyu versus Pixel. Uh, so congrats to Fuyu there. Zuyin beating Midnight Rainbow. That was tough. I like, I'm a fan of Midnight Rainbow. Uh, Islander beating Hive. And again, no surprise there. I think that's the only Infinity that we're going to see go pretty far. Uh, DCS Red Alert reading in PPVD Scotty. Um, not by much, but congrats, DCS Red Alert. GMK Classic Blue destroying SA Berserk round three. Again, SA just getting destroyed. Dude, they're just they're just loving the L's there. Um Infinity Port winning over Cabernet. And then our first CRP set taken over <laughs> SA Nightlight. Um, Tulip and Peacock winning by 699 to 360. And then our second EPBT set beating down on a GMK set. EPBT Samurai winning against Moondust. Lunar taking it against Cat Monochrome. And then GMK Hammerhead winning by quite a margin against Azure. And then Retrocast gets the W by default because DSA Magic Girl R2 was withdrawn for whatever reason from the tournament. Not sure and why. We don't really know why, but that's a thing as well as Infinity Pastel. Um, so we don't, those are two sets by Mint Lotica. We don't know exactly what happened there, but um, that is why. Uh, or that happened. Uh, so next up, we got Jim K. Noel beating up on MT3. Uh, Noel, a pretty solid set. Jim K. Pono beating up on JTK Zen. Jim K. Rouge taking out Cat again. Jim K. Just it's. I mean, it's Jim K. Right? It's gonna be. It's gonna be tough. Uh, Minimal beating Perestroika. No surprise there. Jim K. Godspeed. I mean, it's just going up against SA. It's got easy. Uh, it's it's got easy. I, I really Mordecai. like that. Mordecai <laughs> doping tests. Yeah, mentally apparently you mean taking not too many and mentally mint, mint lotica. My apologies. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Uh, Dolch destroying Red Samurai. Well done, Dolch. Uh, GMK Posh beating Pre Press. EPBT Cool Kids beating Cat Napoleonic. Uh, we did finally get to see which set of the 15,000 sets Cat Napoleonic chose. And then GMK Honor going up against MG Watsi. Uh, so, so those all happened in the last couple of days. We've got, we're shaping up to see a pretty cool tournament. Yeah. With, I mean, all GMK with a couple EPBT. We'll see how SA, uh, SA Sunday morning does, but it's not looking good for SA. Yeah. And to, to contrast our keyboard bracket, our uh, key set bracket's not doing too hot. We are ranked two, excuse me, 294. Um, I think we had Pastel going not super far and I think that DSA Magic Girl going relatively far. So I think we lose out some there. Uh, but we still got a 903 score potential. So who knows? Things could uh, could get a little crazy here. 
in Mech Madness. So please, please, please remember to go be a part of the vote. Get yourself involved in Mech Madness 2021. Check it there at mechmadness.gg. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so that is that. Let's talk. I want to, I want to, this is, here's just my thing. All right. This is just my little soapbox real quick. Um, I am not thrilled right now with TKC fucking shocker there. Right. Um, <clears throat> TKC, uh, I just want this to be known. I hope this gets to TKC. I'm not, I'm not going to personally message them or anything because I think they, you know, it, I might message them, but they're probably, it's probably, it, it's probably better if it's not from me, put your designers names on your products. Um, blind assassin designed the Molly for anyone who does not know who blind assassin is. He's a fantastic designer. He helped design the squid. He designed the Molly. He designed the SP-111. He designed the Stierka. He's designed a lot of things. He helped with the TKC-1800. He's done a shit ton of stuff. Nowhere on the product page for the polycarbonate Molly, which was just announced last week, does it ever mention Blind Assassin's name? Nowhere on an Instagram post, not even a tag. And to me, that is fucking bullshit. That is just blatant disregard for the designer. And I'm not saying this as someone like, yes, it's no fucking surprise. I'm very good friends with Blind Assassin. We designed a board together. He is the other of my keyboard partners, Osiris being. Well, I would be just as mad, though, if this was anyone's board. I'm upset. It sucks because it's like it's one of those things. I understand that there is there. It wasn't necessarily the cleanest break. Uh, and the separation wasn't necessarily super clean, but that doesn't mean that all of the work that he put in, um, was, should be just, you know, thrown to the wind in a sense. They get to keep all the money. They get to keep all that other stuff. It's not like, you know, I guess I don't really a hundred percent know, but I would assume he's not taking like a design cut or anything. I'm assuming he's been paid for all of that and that there's no more money being exchanged, but at least let the man have the credit for doing the work that he did and the designs that he did. Um, you know, just put his name on there. It's yeah, easy. It's not that you, you don't have to, it helps him. It helps bring more just like what we do. We bring people on our show, right? We bring, we bring streamers on, we bring vendors for the most part, don't really need like all this, you know, what people don't come to our stream and go, Oh, Omni type. I now just learned about him and his business. They might see a name to a face, but well, a lot of times we bring designers on because it's important to know who these people are that are putting in the work. And, you know, with TKC not doing that, I'm like, well, you clearly don't respect the designers in this hobby. Like it's an easy fix. I say, fix it. And I'm going to, shout that from the rooftops every day until it is. And if it's never fixed, that's just another reason I'm not happy with TKC. Yeah. Don't be prissy little bitches. Just put his <laughs> name on there. Like for real, <laughs> like it, it is so petty. Like this is some high school ass bullshit, you know, of no, I'm not going to put your name on there. I'm not happy with the fact that you're no longer working with us. It's like, okay, like I get it. But at the end of the day, the man still is the reason why that, keyboard exists the reason you mm. have that design is why it exists yep you don't have to tag blind assassin in an instagram post you don't not not saying y'all chat you don't have to tag him I mean, anywhere I think it'd be awesome yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm not talking about it. like chat i'm talking about tkc doesn't have to tag him in it doesn't have to shout out his does, does what he's doing now just put on designed by blind assassin yeah. we're good Boom. And just on, and even just on the store page, like you yeah. don't need, I know it's extra work to put it on the Instagram post. I get that just on the store page, literally, literally thing right at the bottom. Just boom. Designed by blind assassin or, you know, partnered with blind assassin to just put his name on there. It's, it's important. It is important. Um, have we ever had Jason on indirectly? We had him on during, we did not have him on as much as Mex on deck had TKC on during clack fancy. 
Um, I have we have we have no personal quarrel with with Jason of TKC. I don't think he would be interested in coming on. We have not reached out. We have talked about it a long time ago, but um, I, I I don't think that relationship is really <laughs> at the spot where it's like, hey, let's do this. I'm like, I get it. I I, I get it. If they don't want to be on, we're never going to force someone to be on. Um, and they probably don't want to come on. <laughs> they don't want to come on. We're openly critical of them, and that's fine. That's totally fine. We don't blame them for not wanting to come on. If there was a streamer that was out there just shit talking Max on deck over and over and over, and then they're like, "Do you want to come on?" I'm like, "I'm not going to go waste my time and just have someone yell at me for, for an hour." Not that we'd sit there and scream at them, but I'm like, "I'm not going to go on to a show that I know everybody hates me." Yeah. Like, and not every. And I'm not saying everyone hates us here. I don't. <laughs> I don't have a hatred for anybody at TKC. My hatred is towards how that company is being run. That's my anger is that there is a company that has the chance to be an amazing vendor, just continues to keep doing things that I disagree with on a very intense level. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully they, they do give, make that small concession and, and put blinds name on there, uh, somewhere. Um, apparently Lang shit talks us all the time and has no respect <laughs> for us, um, as people or streamers. Um, appreciate it there. Thank you. Also 18 Nigiri was too many Nigiri. I, that's a lot. That's, that's, that's a lot of Nigiri. You should probably, you should probably stop, stop or yeah. just drink more sake. I'm allergic to sushi. Every time I have sushi, I eat like 80 sushis and I throw up. <laughs> <laughs> so, great. Andy quote, let's talk about two things. We got three things to talk about left. We got, we're, we're talking about Saturday. We're talking about next month and what that means with the keyboard poster. So we've got a lot of cool stuff. Saturday, Saturday anniversary stream. Our technical anniversary is Friday. April 2nd was the first day. Our first YouTube video went live. Um, so we are going to be hosting our anniversary stream this Saturday. It will start at noon. It will go for a while. Um, we don't have like a start and end time. Um, just kind of feeling it out. It will be uh, <clears throat> what paper gift did you get each other? Do we need to get a paper gift? Is this like a, is two years? I know that there's like a list of like you do this. Well, is there, there's like a thing? I don't, yeah. I don't know. It's 25 years is gold. That's the only thing I remember. Um, so if Mexon deck is a thing in 25 years, that'd be impressive. Uh, <laughs> that would uh, be impressive. <laughs> so in but, our fifties, um, just like, I like keyboards. keyboards. I got arthritis, but I still like keyboards. <laughs> um, suddenly I have a massive Southern accent when I turn 50. Watch uh, Mex on deck be a thing. And it's like Mexon a giant conglomerate. And we're just like, like the CEO is just the, like we're the, that. Or we're just the furthest thing from being on camera. There's just yeah. like a couple of zoomers. Dude, so just be sure to like and scrap. We should go back to like magic. Just mix on that. Yeah, dude. Um, so I sent Osiris a list. We've got lots of giveaways. We have some sub goals. So uh starting off, I'll start from the bottom of this list. We have a kinetic labs kind of accessory box. We haven't really put that box together yet, but we will. But lots of thing, lots of accessories. Uh, from some switch boxes to some brushes to some lube, just kind of a starter pack things you things you need in this hobby to kind of fully build and you know kind of take care of your stuff. So very cool there, as well as two different artisans from two different amazing makers. Uh, Hellbent caps and archetype caps are going to be giving us some awesome special edition artisans. So excited about that. What else do we got? Now, oh, we've also got something that I know Chewy is just absolutely stoked for. A this was Lang and I's idea. <laughs> head to toe Smith and Rune get up. So you can get the sweatpants or the joggers that Chewy is always ranting and raving about. There's well, a couple other merch items. And then, of course, a zap desk mat. So that, that'll be cool. And then we've got a couple Alice PCBs, courteous of Project Keyboards, to give away. And then uh, Ooh, one of uh, new new info on that. If you win one of those PCBs, because we understand that getting an Alice PCB is can be a little goofy. 
you will get a discounted SM keyboards stacked acrylic Alice, and you will get put right to the front of the line. Ayo. So I SM keyboards, that. thank you. I t- this happened like today. Message them because it's like sometimes you don't get the sixty percent PCB. A lot of people might find, oh, this is great. I have an extra. I can do a different build or whatever. Alice PCB. If you don't already own one, uh, it might just be sitting there. Um, we don't want things to be like flipped. We prefer our things get used. So uh, we couldn't offer a free <laughs> SM sixty, but we could offer a discounted one as well as the fact that that would get going like immediately. So glad to see that. So, and then we've got <clears throat> there are four Sumi desk mats provided by Project Keyboards. One of each of them, you can go to Project Keyboards and uh, you go to maxondeck.project.link and look at those desk mats. We'll have one of each of those to give out, as well as two sets of lavender switches for your next board. I think these lavender switches are fire. I think you'll be excited if you win those. Yeah, absolutely. Then we've got a big boy. Courtesy of, yet again, Project Keyboards. Shout outs to them. We've got a set, a base kit of a legendary set at this point. GMK Bingsu. Get, get yourself a free base kit of Bingsu. Free base Inspire. kit of Bingsu. We have another base kit from an, I, will, I won't say the comp, we can't talk about it yet, but we'll announce it tomorrow. Uh, but we have another set, uh, another free base kit of a keycap set. And then we've got a secret giveaway. Yeah, we've got a, a fully built keyboard uh, that will be debuting on stream. Yep. So will Cyrus be building a very cool board that we're both very excited about. He's going to build it and we're going to ship it right out. Absolutely. I got to lube the switches still. And I totally realize that right now. Now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got time. We got time. Um, so I'll thank you to all of our awesome sponsors and partners. Uh, pretty much everyone chipped in. Um, we also have a, uh, hen- as a hengul. Is that how you say it? Mm-hmm. For our, we have some sub goals. Um, so we, we've got a hengul kit up in the, we haven't figured out the tiers yet. Uh, for a hangul kit for a sub goal. So that'll be a fun. If we are able to hit these sub goals, that'd be great. We have a uh, 3d keeps who's going to be our newest partner. Uh, as of this Saturday, uh, we'll be giving out a $50 gift card, uh, to anything on her store. And if we hit a, the top sub goal, I will be giving you a free spot, a free, you don't have to pay for spot of a Baca 60 polycarb another basically another free keyboard you just have to wait yep. longer it doesn't it doesn't ship immediately it doesn't ship immediately i don't have them uh but yeah a baka 60 polycarb um if we hit that sub goal it will and there it is we're already started <laughs> so already starting getting started early <laughs> getting started early i love it so uh we will announce the sub goals osiris and i have yet to figure out exactly because you know you don't want to be too lofty but you don't want to also like <laughs> this hobby is amazing and uh, we hit all, when I did our first 24 hour goal, uh, our 24 hour stream, we hit all of our goals in like seven hours, um, which is great. And we appreciate it. Uh, but then you're like, oh, damn. <laughs> like crazy intensifies. And then you're like, oh, I wish we could give you more stuff. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. So let me and start looking around my house, see what I can give you. <laughs> we've talked about doing a subathon, but we don't want to be the next like the keyboard version of Ludwig and get held hostage <laughs> by chat because with with what's happened with Ludwig I have a, I have a fear that there's going to be some people that are just like yeah cool it's like 2000 subs to to keep them streaming for for Ever. a couple weeks <laughs> let's uh, let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and keep it keep it going speaking of I'm doing a uh, a Ludwig check right now, and he's he's still going. He's still got three hours, four hours left, and he had four hours left this same time yesterday. So, <laughs> man, I love it. So that'll be fun. We've got Langlandia joining us, Didi Decline joining us, the third and fourth members. Mechs on deck. I'm sure we'll see appearances by Doodle Bob. I know Keeb Noob will be joining us. Um, uh, just 
it's going to be a good time. We got builds. We'll be playing games. Uh, if you guys don't follow Among Us, Among Us will be out. Uh, there will be a new update to Among Us tom- tomorrow. So that'll be a good time. Um, no shout. We don't have shout out set up. I'm sorry, Lang. Um, but keep noob, just go, just go follow. Keep noob, say something in chat so people can follow you. Exactly. Yeah, just <laughs> click her name. Also, there. Roka 60, we didn't thank you. Thank you for the five gifted. Very much yes, appreciate yes. it. Thank Roka you for those five. 60. I've gifted. Hell yes. Um, So with that being said, we've got our second keyboard of the month competition. It's happening. Next, we'll put this up. So let's let's go through them all. Let's go through the four. Absolutely. Let's take a gander. So first up, the first winner. This is this an iPhone or is this a keyboard? Who knows? Is that Cat, S.A., or GMK? <laughs> you know what? I don't know. But this is a Space 65 with GMK Mizu outside in the snow. We wanted some pictures outside in nature. This is as in nature as you can get. This is the selfie picture. Um, and I think this looks great. Got some, some nice, fancy-looking artisans on there, which is a little hint to what's happening next month. Get your artisans ready. Um, and then second, what is this one, Chewy? Ooh, M65. Clean, great picture. Love the kind of greenery in the background. Uh, I believe that's GMK Umbra. Just clean, clean board. I know that that board sits very heavily in your heart um, as it is a it is a classic. Yeah. No more nylon bottom, though. M65. Bring back the nylon booty. Yep. Next up, Mr. Langlandia himself. His Pepto Pink Alice style board by Mr. Kool Aid Papa outside oh, yeah. in the not very green, uh, rugged outdoors that is the Midwest this time of year. Um, yeah, looks good. Bring looks in some good. life. The to palace. The, the palace the, is what he calls it. Bring in some life to the not life that's existing right there. And last but not least, GMK Kaiju sitting on a Squid 60 in quite a bit of, uh, of, of shrubbery, <laughs> of, of, of foliage, if you will. Uh, great set. This is uh, just great set. My it totally impartial favorite board. Uh, <laughs> uh, so great picture. I love the greenery. Definitely. It captures March. Captures nice. March. Is it weird to drink Pepto as a treat? Uh, d- depends on how you feel about Pepto. Um, you know, if, if that can't be healthy, I mean, I, I, maybe like as a shot or maybe too shot. If you're like, yeah, let's do, let's do some shots of Pepto. I'm like, yeah, maybe if like you just ate a bunch of wings, I guess. But I think eating a lot of it, you're probably going to not you're, you're probably going to give stomach, yourself diary. All- you drink Pepto that much, you'll probably give yourself all five of the things it's supposed to cure. <laughs> so, uh, but let's get this poll going. We're going to put it up. So this is kind of the, uh, this is what will be the March keyboard of the month. This is what will be on the calendar. Ooh, Pepto and tequila. Gross. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, that sounds absolutely gross. But yeah, these are your options. This is what you got. Back in the day, hardcore Alex, alcoholics would mix their drinks with milk. Ew, gross. Gross. Mm. Gross. M65A GMK with Umbra. Kind of shortening, shortening these. We'll go pink, Alice, and Kaiju Squid 60. All right, so you can al- we are, are going to allow additional votes for a thousand channel points per vote. It is a winner take all. We have one. I've started the poll. It's five minutes at the top next month. I will make a post about this probably on April first. It's probably a terrible idea, but <laughs> um, uh, as so next month we t- we haven't talked about this. We announced it. We're having um, artisan April. So Artisan April is going to be this very awesome uh, weekly thing we do. Basically, uh, we loved our quarantine on Dextream. Um, 
And so we want to have more artisans on, give them a little bit more time. The only problem that we had with the quarantine on deck stream is we just didn't get to know all of the makers. I think that each of these makers come on. So we've had some of these on before. We've got some new faces on as well. We've got special giveaways and special raffles specifically for Artisan April. And Eric, since it is Artisan April, what can we try and put on our calendars? Yeah, so we are trying to get pictures of boards with artisans on them. We want a picture of a keyboard, much like this picture of this Space 65 with Mizu on it, how he's got four artisans. We just want to see you show off some artisans. Um, it has to be a keyboard. We don't want to see your entire artisan collection in just a box. Um, we want to see a nice artisan on your board. If it works with your set, if it clashes with your, with your set or your board, it doesn't matter. We want to see it. So take your pictures with your artisan on the keyboard. If you've got a full keyboard of just artisans, even better. Yeah. I want to see some crazy shit. Let's, let's see some insanity. So very excited. Artisan April starting up next month. Let's hear from our sponsors real quick. We, it is the last day. If you like being a Viking, if you like unique sub legends, GMK Norse Omnitype, you go to mexondeck.omnitype.com right now. Pick up GMK Norse, one of the coolest Rama artisans I've seen in a long time. GMK Norse, great looking set. Pick it up. This is the last day, only a couple hours left. So be sure to pick that up. You can go to mexondeck.project.link. We are almost out of time to get GMK Astral. So if you really want that nice faded blue set, be sure to go pick one up there. Lots of pre-orders on there as well. So sets you may thought of you missed out on, you can get in on the pre-order. Osiris, Eric, did you know that there is a base kit you can get for only $79? Wait, what? Really? Tell me more. Oh, yeah. $79 gets you EPBT aesthetic for an entire base kit for $79. Designed by DD Decline. Uh, we've also got awesome other stuff on Cannon Keys, like GMK Fuji is running right now, DSA 1930, uh, Dark Amber T1 switches, lots of awesome desk mats. Uh, we've got the ANSI V2 coming in hot. We got a lot of cool stuff over there. So be sure to go check out Cannon Keys. You can go to cannonkeys.com slash mex on deck. Next up, we've got our awesome partner, Zap Cables. You can go over there, check out some desk mats, get yourself a custom cable. He does cable runs. He's got some of the coolest desk mat designs in the hobby. Uh, and the bumper, I believe, is still up. So go check that. If you like the bumper, I've been using that. It works. That's been missing from my uh, my backdrop here. Type Beast, you go to typebea.st. He's got an awesome newsletter that runs. Um, so be sure to check that out as well as Mech Madness. Make sure you're going and voting mech.madness on uh, Instagrams. So check that out. And then last but not least, Smith Rune. Go to smithrune.com. Get the latest updates on the Iron 165, the Iron 180. And while you're there, grab some merch. Or get some for free on Saturday at noon. Or get some for C. I just, what was for that? C. Get some for C. Get some for C. C is currency now. Who do we got coming on tomorrow? Tomorrow, we have a, a, a new friend. Someone that I'm excited for, uh, a, a vendor that has come on hot. They've been putting out products that we are in love with and products that I'm hopefully in love with. Hint, hint, wink, wink. We've got Key Bon Bon from, Miss, from Kinetic Labs coming on tomorrow to talk about Kinetic Labs and talk about the future and getting started as a, as a vendor um, and all the new offerings that they're doing over there and just to talk about the community. So it should be a good time. Come hang out with us tomorrow night at 8 PM central, um, with Mr. Key Bon Bon. Absolutely. And then again, Saturday, uh, noon o'clock, because that's a time that you want to be, be there. We might, we might just hit the ground running with marbles. We might just say, fuck it and just start giving shit away. The second noon hits, who knows? It's going to be a fun time. So we've got it. Wow. Honestly, not expecting that one. (laughs) Well done. Lots of voting. I appreciate the turnout. The palace. The pink Alice. Great picture by Mr. Langlandia himself with 38 votes to Kaiju's 22. You know, the Squid 60 can't win them all today. Yeah. You know what? (laughs) 
<laughs> I think you'll take it. You you won you won the 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 battle earlier. You know, it came in hot. You couldn't you couldn't take down the Pepto Pink Palace as Langlandia likes to call it. Um uh, I think Keeb Noob also contributed quite a few of her <laughs> channel points in order to ensure victory for the palace. Um but yeah, shout outs to Lang for taking it down. Your your palace keyboard will be immortalized in our 2022 calendar coming up at the end of the yeah, year. It's going to be a cool, it's going to be a cool thing. We have something planned for all of the finalists as well. So be sure to, don't, I think that calendar will be a really cool thing. And we're trying to get it as cheap as possible. <laughs> yeah. Like we're not, this isn't going to be like a hundred dollar calendar. Like it's, it's going to be, we want it to be obtainable. So people use it. Um, that's what people said last time. Ozzy, you got a lot of extra months. All right. We got a lot of extra months. Uh, so keep posting guys. Remember next, you can start posting your artisan pictures right now. We will cover them next week. Uh, so start, I will make a post about it this month and hit at everyone. So it'll ping everybody and probably trigger a few people. And that's okay with us because we want to see your artisan pictures. So guys, Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much for coming out and checking out the stream. It is still just, it's still fucking baffling. Thank you guys. Dude, for Listen sure. To two dudes just chilling, talking about keyboards. It's, I've had to explain this to my father many, many times, and he still does not get it. <laughs> Dude, it is kind of hilarious to try to talk to my parents about keyboards, and they're like, they're like, wait, so people actually want to, watch you build them but then not just build them but talk about them and i'm like yeah they're i don't know it's a talk show I'm it's like, it just it is what it is you know so hey, but we <laughs> thank you guys you. we yeah we couldn't do this without y'all um so who are we rating oh let's see we, who was on who, who's on we got got a couple different people have we ever rated We've got Kiwi King, Liz Kits. I've got ads playing in my ears, multiple ads playing in multiple ears. Mortal Kombat's coming out soon. Dude, three I'm weeks. I'm actually going to watch that. Two weeks. HBO Max or whatever. Dude, I am. I don't have HBO Max, so I'll need to come over to your place so I can watch that because I'm Hell yeah, excited. Dude. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, looks like maybe she is almost done. Liz Kits. We got, God, people are almost done. <laughs> With their belts. I'm like, oh, we got Kiwi Kang and Liz Kits are there, but they're almost done. Uh, I am a, you're, yep. Can we just throw it to the tried and true? Dude, the tried and true. I am me, you are you. Absolutely. There we go. So, guys, if you have not uh, checked out I am a, you are you, he is a great friend, a personal friend of the channel. We've gotten, we've been fortunate enough to meet him before the lockdown. So guys, check out I am a URU. It looks like he is going over uh, some upcoming sets and upcoming boards. So thank you to everyone uh, who f- show, blah, blah, showed up. Um, and as always, buy a Switch Duster. <laughs>